Accounting is the gathering and structuring of data to help people make better decisions. So let me give you an example. Let's say you want to start a restaurant in that vacant location down the street. Usually a bad idea, but let's say you want to do it. Well, what do you have to know before you make that decision? What's the rent? Are you going to need to hire a manager? And if you do hire a manager, what do you have to pay her? What are your materials going to cost? Where will you buy them? How much can you price the meals at? And then you have to put all those data together, structure them to make the decision, should I open the restaurant? And then the beautiful thing is you can do that using accounting before you ever put your precious life savings at risk. That's what accounting is for, for gathering, structuring data so people can make better decisions. Accounting careers, well the key word here is options. You can do literally one of a hundred things. Most of our accounting graduates go work for one of what's called the big four accounting firms. They become auditors, which in and of itself doesn't sound that interesting, but here's what an auditor does. They are turned loose inside a big company like IBM, General Motors, Hewlett Packard, Home Depot, and they're told, talk to people, look at the processes, look at their records, so that we can say whether their financial reports fairly reflect the company. So, okay, that's what an audit does, but the person doing the auditing is to poke around inside a company, and they learn about manufacturing companies, they learn about banks, they learn about healthcare companies. So you have that option to start as an auditor and then branch out in one of those industries. Or some of our graduates go right into one of those industries. They go work for Hewlett Packard or Google or Disney. Or some of them go to law school. <laughs> we try to push them away from that, but yeah, they go to law school. A few of our graduates even go to dental school. And if you think about it, a dentist is a small business owner. What better training for a dentist in addition to the technical skills than a little accounting training? I mean, I myself am an accounting graduate. My accounting degree has taken me to Hong Kong, to China, to Malaysia, I'll keep going through the list, Malaysia, Singapore, Korea, Kazakhstan, Russia, Helsinki, South Africa, and even Billings, Montana. Options, that's what an accounting major can do for you. It gives you career options. Here are the skills that our accounting majors develop. Of course, they get technical skills, and our students find over and over that their technical training that they receive here is far superior to what their colleagues receive at other universities. So it gives, in that first job, it gives our accounting graduates just a little leg up because they're a little bit ahead at the start. But we also know that technical skills aren't what you really need to have a successful career. You need people skills, you need writing skills, you need presentation skills. So our accounting program itself is based around that. Your first day in BYU's accounting program, you're assigned to a five-person group, and that's your team for that whole semester, across all your classes, you work on projects together, you do presentations together in one memorable exercise. Your team is required to give a presentation to a, a panel of scary accounting faculty. We film that presentation, and then the team members are required to watch it and critique their own performance. And you don't know how many times you say, um, until you've watched yourself on video. So we do that, so they develop their presentation skills, their people skills their broad-based skills. That's what will make them successful in the profession. People skills, presentation skills, writing skills, technical skills. Those are the skills you get in our accounting program. There are three things really. Full employment, career options, and an international reputation. Full employment, virtually every single one of our students has a job in hand at graduation. In fact, most of them have their job contracts signed, sealed, and delivered a year before they graduate. Sometimes it's hard to keep their attention for that last year. So jobs, all of our students have jobs. Career options, I've, always I've already mentioned that. They can go anywhere, they can do anything. Let's say you wanna work in Atlanta. Okay, for most majors and at most universities, if I wanna work in Atlanta, I have to go to Atlanta. I develop my own personal uh, connections, interview out there. No. We've got such a strong reputation here that recruiters come here and you say, I want to go to Atlanta or Chicago or New York. They say, we'll set that up for you. You interview here in Provo for jobs in New York or Washington, D.C. or Los Angeles. So that's that reputation that draws them. And let me tell you more about that reputation. So for the past 20 years, there's been a survey of accounting programs. They survey accounting professors, uh, job recruiters, and then they rank accounting programs just like you see uh, sports basketball teams or football teams rank top three every year for the past 20 years. The big three in accounting education are Texas, Illinois, and BYU. So that reputation, but there's no other major on campus that can claim that, by the way. By, by far, in fact, we're the crown jewel of BYU. Take all the other academic programs at BYU, they're great, uh, but none of them are top three in their field. 
But we're better than all the sports programs, we're better than all the academic programs, our international reputation. Full employment, career options, international reputation, that's what sets BYU's accounting major apart. Now why should you major in accounting? Well, let's be careful. You only major in something if you love it. If you love genetics, major in genetics. If you love environmental science, you major in environmental science. If you love accounting, you major in accounting, but you're saying to yourself, well, how do I know whether I love accounting or not? Take Accounting 200. Just take Accounting 200. It's an introductory class. We'll expose you to the vast field of accounting, and then you'll know, do I love accounting or not? You can't take accounting because I say it's good for you or that your mom or dad says that it's good for you. You gotta love it. So take Accounting 200. And in Accounting 200, you'll learn how to figure out how full an airplane needs to be for the airline to break even on that flight. You'll learn how many people need to go to McDonald's each hour for the McDonald's location to break even. You'll know how to look at financial reports of Apple and Google and Microsoft, or your brother-in-law's carpet cleaning business in which he wants you to invest. You'll learn how to do all those things. And maybe you love accounting, maybe you won't, but nobody's worse off because they took accounting. Whatever your major is, you'll be better off having taken a little accounting. But maybe you will love accounting. Only way you'll know, take accounting too hard.